Welcome everybody. I am in here to show you how to make this cute card um, for lupus awareness for any friends that you might have that has lupus. So um, I use the Welcome Easter, the Stitch Nested Dies, I use the Paper Pumpkin, and then um, I use some of my 2019-2020 um, in color paper, which is Purple Posy. So I'm gonna show you, um, I know my desk is a mess here, um, but I wanted to have everything out to kind of show you everything that I used. So the catalog that I used was um, our um, current catalog right now. Uh, this is going to be changing June 3rd, I believe, maybe June 2nd, um, we'll be going to our new catalog. I can't show you anything inside of this catalog yet, but um, lots of great things that have moved from our old catalog into our new catalog, plus some great new products. So this one will be coming out in June. I will be um, showing you products from it here in the next couple episodes. All right. So, first thing that um, I used is um, the Welcome Easter. Um, it is a stamp set that um, I just personally love the little animals. Um, I love the sweet friend. I didn't feel like it needed to be just an Easter a stamp set. I thought it could be for babies, um, for other type of cards. And so I was on Instagram looking around and um, somebody hashtag lupus chick. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have a chick in that Easter stamp set that I have. So I'm going to make a sweet card for my lupus friends. So what I did is I got out this um, cute little chick from my stamp set. And um, he's right here and I'm gonna grab him out because we're going to use him. And I am gonna post put him on my little spot here so that I do not lose any of my stamps. I can set this aside because I do not need this anymore. Um, we are also going to be using um, one of the in colors from 2019-2021, Purple Posy. Um, this is the paper that I am going to be using for, um, oh, for my, part of my background to my card, okay? It'll be part of my background to my card. My base card is gonna be used out of Whisper White. So I'm gonna use Purple Posy Whisper White. But I'm also going to be using um, a DSP, which stands for Designer Series Paper. And um, these sheets come in six by six. And I chose um, the 2019-2021 DSP six by six sheets. And the reason why I did that is because it gave me this great gingham checked paper that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna be using this as part of my card bases um, to make my card look great. Um, plus on the inside, I stamped um, a sweet little thinking of you sweet friend. All right, so we're gonna be using that paper. Then um, I used my Stitch Nested Dies. Um, I absolutely love this die set. There are many different sizes that you can use. And I will be using my Big Shot to cut this out um, of some of my Purple Posy paper. Now, um, this Stitch Nested Die did go over into our new catalog, so that's great. Um, unfortunately, the um, Easter uh, set did not go over. So if that's something that you wanna purchase, you need to do that before June 1st. Um, that will no longer be available. So if you want to order that, look down below and I will give you my item numbers that you can purchase it from, plus I'll also give you um, my host code that you can go on to and get um, some supplies ordered if you would like to make some of these for yourself or get product just for yourself. 
All right. Then the other thing that I used was this honeybee set. Um, I'm using the Thinking of You Sweet Friend. This one did not transfer over to our new catalog either, and I am so sad. I love, love, love this stamp set. So again, if you like this stamp set, this is something that you need to get before June 1st. Um, get it ordered, get it, um, get it sent to you because it will not be available after June 1st unless, now I take that back, I'm gonna say it's not available. If they have overstock and they haven't completely sold out, then it still may be available. These may be available, but um, they are not in our new catalog. So you couldn't wait four months um, and want to order these. These need to be ordered as soon as possible because once the stock's gone, then it's all gone. They won't be, they won't be around anymore. All right, um, so I have that. Let's see, let me get out this thinking of you, sweet friend, because we're gonna be using this. And again, I'm gonna stick it on my top here because I do not wanna lose my stamps before I stamp with them. Um, I'm also going to be using Memento Black, um, Tuxedo Black ink. Um, I always put a date on my ink on when I open it. Um, my other Tuxedo Black started going um, not as sharp and crisp, so I ordered another Tuxedo Black. You do not have to do that. You can order ink, a re-inker, which I will do. Um, I just have not done yet, so I will put more ink on this one, plus I'll have this one to, to use as well, um, so that when I do card classes, I can take those with me and I can help um, people have great stamps to use. The other thing that I use with this card um, is my light purple posy Stampin' Blends and my dark purple posy Stampin' Blends, and I use that to actually color my purple chick for lupus awareness. Um, somebody had suggested maybe that I color the chick um, a yellow color, but I decided because uh, purple is a lupus um, color, I wanted to keep the whole card lupus um, theme. So that's why I did that. So you could actually color the chick any color you want. Um, we have multiple colors in our catalog that you can choose from. And um, if you need a catalog and would like to have a catalog, please send me an email at www.mcghcrafting.com and just um, simply just put that you would like to have a catalog and I will send you a catalog in the mail. All right, so the other thing that um, I used out of this, this set to make this card was a paper pumpkin. Now, very quickly, paper pumpkin, is um, a monthly subscription that comes straight to your door. Inside of the kit comes everything that you need to make cards. Um, this is last month's Paper Pumpkin and it was um, family oriented. It was my wonderful family. And it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe the nine cards. It came with pearls that you could decorate your card with. It came with Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, this one had trees in it. I did a video, so you can take a look at my video um, on the April 2020 My Family Paper Pumpkin. It was a great kit. I've used it multiple times over, but I'm actually gonna be using the March uh, Paper Pumpkin that um, was no matter the weather. Um, it was a great kit also, and I am going to be using the stamp that is right here, and it says, no matter the weather, we're in this together. So I thought that went great with my lupus theme. These little um, dots right here, these are going to help me put on my lupus check. You can use this, or you can use your snail adhesive. This particular snail adhesive will no longer be available also in our new catalog. We have new product. They changed um, distribution or manufacturers. So we're, we'll have a different adhesive. Um, so again, if you wanna get this, it's in our um, old catalog and um, in our new catalog, we'll have new products. So we'll, we'll be using that. Uh, 
let's see, what else do I have here that we're gonna need? I think that's it. All right, so we, our card base. So Whisper White is the color that I use for my card base. All right, so I grabbed out my Whisper White cardstock and I am going to get out my cutting tool. This thing is absolutely amazing. Um, it's in our old catalog and it's in our new catalog. Um, it's a product by Stampin' Up. It swings out the arm here so that you can measure larger paper or you can bring the arm in and it can cut paper that is smaller size. So for this card, we are going to be cutting our paper at five and a half. And that gives me two sheets of paper, okay? The other side I don't have to cut, but it is already um, set. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to put it at four and a quarter. Now on my paper trimmer, I have two knobs. The first one, the darker color, that one is for cutting. The second one is to put um, a fold line in your paper. So I'm gonna put my paper at four and a quarter, and then I'm gonna take my paper folder and I'm going to bring it down. What that does is it gives me a score line that I can bend my paper and it's going to make a perfect way for me to have a card base. All right, then I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm going to varnish to make my card sit nice and flat on both sides. All right, so I have my card base. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my purple posy paper and I am gonna cut this layer at five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut it a second time. I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna cut it at four. So I'm gonna line that up at four and I'm gonna cut it at four. Open this up. I use these pieces as scrap. I have a scrap box over here. I'll show you that here in a second. And this one is going to go on top of my white base and it's just gonna, it's trimmed low enough just to give me a nice little white border all the way around the card. Before I put my paper trimmer up, I'm gonna grab out this DSP paper that um, was the end color of 2019, 2020. It's the Purple Posey Gingham. And I'm gonna cut this one at five and one eighth. So five and one eighth. I set this aside because I'm gonna use this as my stamp for my stamping on the inside. I'm gonna rotate it one and I'm gonna put it at three and seven eighths. Now, when I do that, it's giving me a scrap to place over here, but it's giving me just an eighth of an inch under that purple posy card. So now I have three layers. I have my Whisper White and my purple posy, and then I have my purple posy gingham checked. And so it just makes a nice base for your card. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take these three and I'm gonna put them together. My card is kind of flipping a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my bone folder and I'm gonna push it down just a little bit more. So now I'm gonna grab my snail adhesive and I'm gonna take my first layer and I'm just gonna come by this is brand new, so I'm gonna have to. And just put some snail adhesive on, just like this. I put it on all four sides so it sticks down. Then I'm very carefully going to 
find where I want to place my paper. I'm not gonna stick it all down at one time because it will not lift up once I do that. So I'm gonna very carefully make sure I have the right amount of space all the way around the card that I want, and then I'm gonna flatten it down. I'm gonna take my bone folder and lay it flat, and I'm just gonna go over the edges where I put that snail adhesive so it just sticks and get, gets a nice, nice ad, um, adherence to the Whisper White paper. Then I'm gonna take my DSP and I am going to put it on all four corners one more time. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Again, very carefully, because this one's an eighth of an inch, I'm gonna make sure it's correct all the way around. It's not, I can see over here that it was going to go off the paper. I'm going to place that down very carefully. It's where I need to be. I can see that. I'm going to take my bone folder and just go over the edges so that I can lay that flat down and get a good, good stick on that back. All right. So my card base, I am finished with it for right now. All right. So my next step is going to be getting out my paper pumpkin. Now, in March's Paper Pumpkin, it came with No Matter the Weather, We're In This Together. And um, it also came with, let me grab it out right here, these cute raindrops. They were so, so cute right here. They went on your cards. These cards were incredible. But it already gave me a punch out right here um, to... Um, put my stamp on it. So I have that already. I'm just going to pop that out. I didn't use all of my um, dies that came with my kit, so I can use them for this card if I want to. Otherwise, I could use a, a punch. I have um, a punch that I could use that could be around this size. I could um, cut it out um, with my scissors my snips if I needed to, whatever, whatever I wanted to do. So, all right, I'm going to grab that. And I'm also going to grab my Momenta Black. And I am going to use my, um, sorry about that. It's sticking to my fingers. I'm going to use my, um, stamp, stamping block. And I'm gonna put my stamp on the on my mat here. Now, I've lined this up with my mat's four corners so that I make sure that it gets onto my block correctly. And I'm just gonna take my block and I'm just gonna put it in, put it on top of it and just tap it lightly. I know now that my block is, my stamp is on my block straight. This block that I'm using is B, it's in our catalog. Then I'm gonna take my, my block with my stamp on it and I'm gonna dab, dab, dab all the way over my Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm gonna just flip it over. And what I'm looking for is just to make sure that my ink got on all of my letters evenly. And I can see that over here, it's not as dark as some of the others. So all I'm gonna do is just come back and just tap just a little bit more, just to make sure that I get this E, this T, and this H in the word. Uh, nice and colored like I did some of the other ones. Then I'm gonna take my circle, place it on my mat. And um, we have a, a, a foam mat that um, we use. I'm gonna pop this out real quick, put it here. This just gives um, a better stamping um, for these polymer uh, stamps than on hard surfaces. So I'm just going to use this. I'm just lining it up wherever I want to. The nice thing about the polymer stamps is that I can see all the way through. So I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just holding, holding, pressing, holding, trying to keep my um, pressing even so that uh, the ink color is the same all the way through. And then I'm gonna lift up. Oops, it's stuck to it. I'll pull it off and there we go. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Now, 
this um, ink is still on my stamp. So I just have a, a spare piece of paper over here and I'm just kind of brushing all of my ink off as much as I can, but then I'm going to pull in my chamois. And my chamois is how I keep all of my inks clean. And it's wet and I'm just gonna wipe it on here, pull it up, take a look at my stamp, a little bit on it and get it all the way off. There, it's good. The ink that's on this chamois, it will not come back and go back onto my um, stamp here. It's, it's in that chamois and I can rinse that off at any time, get some of that ink out if I want. But for right now, I'm, I've cleaned this stamp off. I'm gonna place it here and I am going to set that aside. All right, so I have my, no matter the weather, we're in this together. All right, so then I'm also gonna take a piece of Whisper White, and I've already done this, but I would take my chick. I love my paper pumpkin block. When you order your first paper pumpkin, you get this block in the box. Um, and this is actually my favorite stamping block of all the blocks there is. It's small, it fits in my hand good. I can see all the way around it, but I would put the Memento Black on here just like I did with the other one. And um, I would stamp my little chick. I've already done that for us, so we're gonna just move on. Put my chick back there and pop that over there. So I'm gonna just take my um, Purple Posy. And I also used, um, I believe it was Daffodil Delight. Um, or maybe So Saffron, I don't know. They're, they're, both, they're both very pretty yellows. So we'll just, we'll just grab some of these other colors. And I'm just gonna color the little chick's nose I'm also gonna cut, color his little feathers up here at the top and his little feet. All right, so the crazy thing about doing this card right now is that um, Indiana weather has been ridiculous right now. It's going cold, it's rainy, hot, cold, rainy, and this is just the perfect time to be doing this card because it literally has knocked me down for a loop. So this is this is a good time to be doing these cards. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna use Dark Purple Posy and Light Purple Posy. And so what I'm gonna do is um, on my chick here, I blend it a little bit just to add some highlights in. You don't have to do that. You could do it all one color. You could do whatever you want. But I'm new to this and I'm still learning. So I'm just going to kind of outline these borders a little bit of this sweet little chick. And again, I'm using purple because I wanted to stay with the theme of lupus awareness. If you haven't already um, watched my video, I uploaded a video on my journey with lupus and, and what I have experienced and um, how um, lupus affects me. It doesn't affect everybody the exact same way. So now I'm gonna come in with my light purple posy and I'm just gonna blend it in, just blend them together. Um, yeah, lupus doesn't affect everybody the exact same way, um, but it is a chronic disease, um, and I would not wish it on anybody. It um, is at times very debilitating for me. Um, like I said in my video, we uh, had our kids over for Mother's Day, and just the enjoyment um, that I had and um, the amount of energy I used while they were here actually just knocked me down. Um, the weather turned cold here um, in Indiana. So yeah, it's uh, it did a number on me. So today I'm doing a little bit better. I'm still very tired, but um, I am at least out of bed today, which is a good thing. So now I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm going to 
what we call fussy cutting. And um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my scissors and I'm just going to cut around this chick. Um, again, this is a homemade card. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, do the best you can. Um, for me, with the lupus, um, sometimes this hurts really bad because um, my hands hurt a lot. Um, so um, sometimes I'll cut out a little bit and then um, I'll set it aside and work on something else and then cut out a little bit more fussy cutting and set it aside. And, and so, you know, I just, I just do the best I can. But, you know, the cards are homemade. They're made with love. And um, I thoroughly enjoy doing this. And so I am so glad that I personally found Stamping Up um, because it has given me um, something that I can do that gives me joy, that gives me joy. And so, yeah, so that's one reason why um, I like Stampin' Up. Um, it's a great company. If you are interested in joining my team, I would love to have you. Um, you can go on to my website, www.mcghcrafting.com, and uh, there is a section on how to join. And if you are interested in joining, you can go on there and um join my team. I would absolutely love to have you on there and um, learning and creating cards um, together. That would just be, that would be wonderful. I would love to have some team members that we can work together to um, make some great cards. All right, so I fussy cut around, not perfect. It's not perfect. But that's okay, it's just a sweet card that I'm gonna be giving to a friend of mine that has lupus also. Pop my scissors away. All right, so I have my, my chick, I have my no matter the weather, we're in this together. So um, as you can see on my card here, um, I have lupus chick. Now, I do not have die cuts yet for um, just letters. We do have them in our catalogs and that's something that can be purchased and I will be purchasing them, but I used my silhouette machine to cut out hashtag lupus chicks. So I am going to um, come over here to my scrap box and as you can see every time I make a card and I feel like I have scraps that I could use for another card I pop them in this box um so I think this piece right here is going to be perfect so I'm going to grab this out I am going to grab my paper cutter um, the nice thing um, about joining Stamping Up um, is that I don't have to um, necessarily sell. I could do this as a hobby if I wanted to. Um, I do have quarterly minimums that I have to reach, but um, they are very attainable. And so, yeah, um, I just, I, I personally am doing this to create a business, but you don't have to. You could use Stampin' Up just to um, buy stamps for yourself to create for your friends and family. And, and if you want to join my team and that's all you want to do, that's perfectly okay. That's no problem at all. All right, so I'm just going to take this piece and I'm just kind of seeing how much room I need here. I'm going to pop this on the end. And I'm going to take my, we're in this together. So I need about right here. And I'm just guessing. There's no, there's no perfect, no perfect way to do this. This is just what I'm, I'm guessing is going to be right, and that turned out good. So it's very similar to my original. All right. So I'm going to quickly come over here um, and grab my hashtag lupus check. Um, let's see where I'm going to use my. Little 
tweezers here to pick these up. I just bought these tweezers because I thought they might be able to help me, but they are not helping. All right. All right, so I have my hashtag. Then I'm just gonna pop off here, my lupus. I think what I'm gonna get um, that I think will help me better is my tool here that, um, I can't even think what it's called right now. Oh my goodness, my mind's a blank. Another, another side effect of lupus. Okay. I'll figure out what it is before we get off here. It'll come to me. Or it'll come to me in the middle of the night. And I'll be like, oh, I should have said this. All right. So I'm going to pull these letters. And excuse my silhouette mat here. It is so disgusting. But it is loved. And it is used all the time. Because I love creating things. And so I'm just going to finished getting all my letters off of here and I am going to use my dots from my paper pumpkin to help me adhere all of these letters onto my whisper white tag here. Um, you don't have to have paper pumpkin to have the tags or the little dots because um, we have um, mini glue dots that you can purchase also. So that's in the new catalog as well as the old catalog. So that is something that um, helps when you have small things that you want to glue on and your snail is really too thick. Now, we do have silicone mats that um, goes with the snail that the adhesive does not stick to it. It just kind of rolls off. Um, and I will grab that real quick because I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. So I could actually take my um, letters and use my snail adhesive and um, use them to put, put on the letters with. Either way works just fine. So I'm going to just flip this letter over or the hashtag and I'm going to get one of my little dots, put it on here. I just use my fingers and I'm just using the tip of my tool here to pull back the, the back part of and place it down, and there you go. It's it's sticking down. All right, so let me pick up another one. Put the L on. All right, so with the L, I think I'm gonna use my snail, so I can show you how this works. So basically, I can use my tool. Hold it here, woo, my letter went flying. All right, hold it here, snail it, got some adhesive on it, flip it over and pop it down. Either way works just fine. Whatever you want to do that works best for you, that's what you can use. I did find that with my first card, the snail adhesive, you could actually see um, the, the um, adhesive. And so I had to do a lot of work to get the shininess of the adhesive off. So that's kind of why I thought, well, maybe I'll use my little dots here, but it actually seems to work better with the adhesive than the glue dots. So we're just gonna keep going on that. And again, this is just um, a homemade card. So I don't know. I mean, I want it to look nice, but I don't feel like it has to be just 100% perfect. So I got lupus, so let's finish up with my chick, hashtag lupus chick. I don't know um, if I've already said this or not, but lupus affects people different ways. Um, 
for one of my friends that has lupus, um, it really affects her kidneys. She gets a lot of kidney infections and um, she has a really hard time with her kidneys. Um, so, you know, lupus doesn't look the same on every single person. And um, the crazy thing is, I, I think like for me, I can go and get blood work done when I am in a flare and I can come back and it will show that there's nothing wrong with me. Um, and it's so frustrating because I just have so much pain everywhere in my body. But there have been times that I have felt good and I've gone to the doctor and, um, yeah, I have, um, blood works come back not good. Um, and it shows that I'm in a flare. Um, so it's crazy. Um, I think one of the first tests, um, well, when I first got sick and um, they were doing blood work, um, one of the first things that told them that I had an autoimmune disorder is um, I had um, my ANA came back as positive. Um, my Epstein-Barr came back as positive also. Um, so they definitely knew um, because of that, I was dealing with um, an autoimmune disorder. So, let me just cut a little bit more of this off. So, yeah. So, um, we're just going to go straight. Um, but, like I said, everybody's different, unfortunately. Lupus does not strike the same uh, two people the exact same way. Um, that is for sure. And medicines that I can take, um, other people may not necessarily be able to take. Um, I I take a Plaquenil, I take a Celebrex, and I do weekly injections of methotrexate. Um, in that. Um, that absolutely is probably one of my worst medications is the methotrexate because it makes me so sick. It knocks me down for a couple days. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's no fun whatsoever. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get um, my stitch nested dies. And I want to cut out another one of these um, shapes so that I can put my chick on it and do a little bit of decorating. And I believe I used on this one, I believe I used this one. I did. So let me grab my big shot and I'll show you how I did this. Stampin' Up! in their new catalog um, will have their own um, die cutting machines. So um, that is something that will be new with our new catalog. You can purchase um, your own die cutting machine. You don't have to go, like I bought this one from Amazon. You don't have to go and buy one from Amazon. You can buy one from Stampin' Up! which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna place my plate down. I've got my die in there. And I'm just going to turn, turn, turn. And the pressure is going to cut the paper for me in the shape of the die. So when I pull this off, I have my die. So that'll go right there on my paper. And I have extra paper also. So, yeah, these big shots, they're fun to work with. And, um... Not in this particular stamp set, but in other stamp sets, the B set. Um, you can, um, like if I had a flower, um, I might have a die that actually cuts out that flower for me so I don't have to do like a fussy cut like I did on that chick. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do real quick, um, well, I'll put this aside. All right, so I have my... 
my stitch nested die cut out and I am going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. Now these are what our dimensionals look like. Um, we have these large ones and then we have smaller ones. Um, so I'm gonna put this on my piece. But before I stamp that down or put that down, I'm gonna put my little leaves and my butterflies. All right, so let's see, I have to remember here. Forgot to get those out when I was talking in the beginning. All right, not in that one. All right. Not in that one. I don't know if anybody else stamps, but sometimes it gets so messy and chaotic. It is crazy around here. All right. Let's find my stamp. Oh, you guys, my stamps. Where are they at? Where are they at? I have so many different projects going on different places. This is just not good. Not good, not good. What do I have here? Okay, that goes there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I do want to show you these. These are the mini dimensionals. They're nice and they're little, little, little. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, so I'm looking for my butterflies on my stamp set and I cannot find them. So let's see here. Well, we're just going to leave them off for right now because they're around here somewhere, hidden, hidden somewhere. butterflies because the butterflies are part of lupus also so I'm just gonna leave it right now I'm not gonna put anything on it um, but I am going to take my duck I'm gonna put my duck on here take a stampin dimensional just put one there on the top Oops. put one here on the bottom all right, and I'm just gonna stick him on here right in the center. And then I'm going to peel off my dimensional backs here. Some people use their tool to get those adhesive parts popped off. Either way is fine. My fingernails aren't long enough right now, so I take off my fake nails during this quarantine. So yeah, my nails look awful right now. All right, so I have the front of my card completely done. Um, I do have the flowers, I'll find them, I'll stamp them on, or I may leave them off, I don't know. They're cute either way. So now I'm gonna work on the inside of my card. Okay, so the inside of my card, I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to take a piece of my purple posy paper and I am going to cut it at four. I'm cut it at four. Okay, so pop out four by five and a quarter. That's five and a half. Five and a quarter. All right. So little pieces like this I do not keep. Some people might keep those, but I do not keep them. All right, and I'm just gonna open up my card. I'm gonna lay this down just to make sure that it fits good. I am gonna use Thinking of You, Sweet Friend. And I am going to use my snail adhesive again, whoops. And, oops, it's not cut straight. Let's cut this a little better off. I'm just using my scissors just to kind of fix my, fix my wording there a little bit. I'm going to pop that right there in the middle. 
Then I'm going to use my snail to go all the way around. Then I'm going to take my inside. I don't know if you can see me because I'm kind of off the screen a little bit. But I'm going to very carefully not push it down real quick because I want to make sure it's once it's stuck, it's stuck. Make sure it's where I want it to be. Then I'm going to use my bun folder and go in and tack it down to where it wants, where it needs to be. And that's it. I've got my card um, that I've made and all I have to do is address it and send it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to receive notifications on when I upload new videos, hit the subscribe button below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, I will put all of the products that I used and the numbers plus my website or my Stampin' Up! page um, so that you can go on if you want to order something or if you'd like to join my team. Have a great day and thanks for watching.